I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Kindergarten. Now, we still have 11 more Monster Mon cards to collect. If we get all 25 cards, Nug Nug will give us a special item inside of his cave once this game fully comes out, so I'm excited for that. Also, you guys have some questions about this game for me, and here they are. What happens if you let Billy out when he's an alien? What if you sell Cindy's dog to Monty? Is it possible to show the dog to the janitor? And what happens if you show the teacher's phone in Show and Tell? So we got our hands full in this episode. You want me to show the phone to the teacher at Show and Tell. And we got a couple dog questions and alien Billy. Also, we have to check some of the hints for the Monster Mon cards. I don't know which ones I haven't gotten yet, but let me skim through this and see. Bugs will give you Cactus Outlaw if you give him cigarettes. Okay, so I know I gotta give that little bitch some cigarettes, so we're gonna do that one too. Freezy Guy Jim is in one of the cubbies. I did that. Martian Orbman is hidden in Bugs' secret stash. You can access it by stabbing Bugs and following him out to the hallway. Wait, what? When does he ever go out to the hallway? And do I stab him by grabbing that knife in one of the cubbies? Okay, I guess. I, I guess we're gonna do that one too. The principal will give you spiky flim flam if you tell him you were fighting with Billy over Monstermon cards. I remember I read this one in the last episode and I was kind of confused how we're gonna get that one to work. Do we do it after we save Billy? But that's not possible because the aliens kill the principal. Do I tell him when I get sent to the principal's office because I was talking about Billy to Nugget? I have no idea. There's so many things in this game that you can do, and that's why this game is great. The lunch lady will give you uneaten cake if she thinks you went through three helpings of slop. So we gotta get slop three times. Okay, so I'm gonna do the one where I stab bugs, give him cigarettes, and the lunch lady one. And I'll try to get 1250 so I can buy Holy Night for Monty at recess. Let's do it. $3 should be good so bugs doesn't rob my ass. And I need to get cigarettes, and do I need the screwdriver? I don't think so, because I use the screwdriver to get stuff inside the box, right? Yeah, I don't need the screwdriver this time. But I need the yo-yo, because I gotta distract the teacher and then get the knife from one of the cubbies. So let me get a yo-yo. Ba-blam. And also, let me get the cigarettes. Ba-bam. And I don't think I need to do anything else here, right? Okay, so I'm about to distract the teacher. Let me grab this knife real quick. This is Bugs Cubby. That's a knife. Getting caught with this would get me in serious trouble. Take the knife. Well, not having an item for show and tell got me in trouble. I got shot with a freaking shotgun by the principal. This school is completely fucked. And Jerome's mad. Who gives a shit? Let me try giving Bugs the cigarettes real quick. Why the hell do you think I would want to be your morning buddy? Good points. Uh, okay. When the fuck do I stab Bugs? I have no idea. Let me skip. And let's see what Bugs does at lunch. Can I give him the cigarettes during lunch? No way a worm like you is going to be sitting with me. I didn't want to sit with you anyway! What the heck? Okay, recess! Let's try that recess. Oh wait! We gotta get slop from this crazy ass lunch lady! I gotta go through three helpings of slop! So let me get one slop. And... How do I eat the slop? Wait, 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 wait. Do I talk to her again? Whoa, whoa, whoa there, kiddo! You haven't finished the last helping of slop I gave you. You can come get more once you've eaten what you already have. Oh, what? How do I eat the slop? Oh, I can throw away the slop in the garbage can! Duh! Come on, Jay! You know better than that, buddy. One more slop. And then we just throw it away, rinse and repeat. But I only have one more apple. Fuck. My word. Even Bugs doesn't eat my slop with such enthusiasm. I think you've earned something special. My way of saying thank you for appreciating the slop. Here's a Monster Mon card. Aw, yeah! <laughs> Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Bugs, I got cigarettes and a knife with your name on it. Get out of here, I'm busy. You don't look busy. I am bu- Oh, what's the point? It's no fun being a bully when no matter how many kids you beat up, my dad still isn't coming back. Little bit sentimental there. I miss everything about him, even the way he used to drink excessively. I'm gonna walk away now. How do I stab you in the back, Bugs? What the fuck? Maybe I give him the cigarettes first thing in the morning, and then I can stab him in the back later. Let me fast forward through the day because I got a new Monstermon card. We gotta lock that one up. And then I'm gonna restart the day. But first, we need to show the teacher's phone at show and tell. So let's show it. Is that my phone? How the heck did you get that? And how dare you steal my things? You're in kindergarten to learn how to share, not steal. Go to the principal's office right now. Okay, guys, so for anyone wondering what happens when you show the teacher's phone at show and tell, you get sent to the principal's office, and then he pulls out his shoddy for these fucking thotties acting naughty. It's not surprising that the teacher is upset with you for having her phone. <laughs> you don't say. Okay, so let me actually try showing the knife. Let me see what she says. 
What is that? Oh my, no, no, no. You aren't allowed to have knives in school. That's very, very dangerous. Go to the principal's office right now. Okay, so now that we've seen what happens when you show the phone and the knife, let me just show the slop. I can't actually believe we make you kids eat that stuff. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be able to pass a drug test after eating that. Anyway, who's next? Well, at least it's safe to show the slop. So if you don't have anything for show and tell, you don't have to go to the principal's office if you get the slop from the lunch lady. But... We got this Monstermon card right here, so we're one step closer to getting Nugget's special item. But let me try giving Bugs the cigarette first thing in the morning, and we'll see what happens. You're off, kid. I'm busy. Want some cigarettes? Whoa! I've been robbing kids so I can buy these for Monty. Thanks a bunch. You can have this Monstermon card. It's one of my favorites. Thanks. Cool. Thank you, Bugs. Now we're gonna stab you in the back later. Come on, let me stab you in the back. Ah, uh, damn it. What the hell? Am I doing something wrong? Am I supposed to progress through, like, a bug storyline or something? Because I don't know when's the perfect opportunity to give him the knife in the back! Let's try it right here at lunch. No way a worm like you is gonna be sitting with me. Motherfuck! Right here at recess! Come on! Come on! Fuck! Fuck you bugs! Let me stab you in the back, you bitch! Okay, let me rub my chin pubes of justice. And let me figure out how I'm gonna get this Monstermon card by stabbing Bugs in the back. Maybe I'm supposed to let Bugs steal my money, and then I befriend him, and then we stab him in the back. Because you can't stab somebody in the back if you're not their friend, right? I know I'm right. I'm absolutely right. I'm absolutely right. So we are gonna buy a yo-yo so we can grab that knife from the cubby. And then we're gonna tell the teacher, but we're not gonna start a fight with him. So Bugs stole my money. But I'm going to say, no way, Jose. Bam. And then we'll skip it. And then Bugs is going to be like, hey, hey, come over here. Thanks for not trying to snitch on me, motherfucker. There you go. He's calling me over. So let's see if we can stab him in the back. So he ended up giving us a knife anyway. So I'll say, maybe you're paranoid. How do we stab this motherfucker in the back? And I don't even need this yo-yo. But you know what? I'm going to steal Monty's money from the cubby. Because I'm an asshole like that. So Bug said, come see me at lunch and we'll discuss where to go from here. I think I'm taking the right steps. So let's go to lunch. And then let's talk to old Bugsy Poo. No way a worm like you is going to sit with me. You said talk to you at lunch. What the hell? Why are you being weird? Why are you being weird? Let me go behind him and stab him. What? What the fuck is going on, guys? What the fuck is this bullshit? You know what? While we're trying to figure out this whole Bugs thing... Let me try to get 12.50. Bam! 11.30? Hold on. I think I might have enough to get that Monstermon card at recess. Please, please, please. 12.30? Okay, all I gotta do is use one apple and I should be good. Bam! 12.55! Give me that motherfucking Monstermon card, boy! Bam! Okay, we got that. Now all we have to do is figure out how to stab bugs in the back. This is like the main theme of this episode. When the fuck do I stab Bugs in the back? So I talked to Bugs again, and I read what he was saying very carefully. He wants me to ask the other students right here if they've ever gotten a gold star. Let me ask Cindy. Nope, she won't talk to me. What about Nuggets? Nugget does not wish to spend morning time with you. Nugget is very busy. Uh, right. What if I give him the magnifying glass? Will he give me a gold star? You are curious about the ways of Nuggets? Interesting. Perhaps you could be of some use to Nugget. Perhaps. Nugget is in need of a magnifying glass. Do this for Nugget before the next bell rings and you'll be rewarded. Okay, I guess. Have you found the item Nugget seeks? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Nugget is pleased. You may have this Monstermon card. I don't want the Monstermon card. I want a gold star. I'm gonna go ahead and save everybody some time here. So for the next 30 minutes of this video, I tried so hard to get that Monstermon card where I stab bugs in the back. For the life of me, I could not figure it out. I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the part of the video where I'm answering some of you guys' questions. The one about selling the dog to Monty, and the one about showing the dog to the janitor. Alright, so I befriended Nugget, and he is gonna let me go inside Nugget Cave. But I actually don't see the janitor anywhere, so I don't think that we can show him the dog, but we can potentially sell the dog to Monty, so I'm gonna try that one out. So, for the janitor thing, I'm gonna say no, I don't think you can show him the dog, because he's not even here at recess. Okay, so let me take the dog, and let's try to sell this to Monty. And look guys, the janitor isn't even out here, so we can't even show him the dog. What can I do for ya? Let's sell the dog. 
Never mind. Yep. We can't sell the dog. So we can't sell the dog and we can't show the janitor the dog. The only thing that we can do to the dog is show it to the teacher to get Nugget expelled or show it at show and tell and Cindy's gonna flip her shit and put that knife right between our eyes. But the last question you guys asked me is what happens when you release Alien Billy? We're gonna find that out right now. Let's see what happens if we release Alien Billy. Uh, I think Blue releases them, right? Releasing content of all viable tanks. Surprise, motherfucker. Wait, how come I can't release Alien Billy? Damn it! Tough Maybe thing. I can release Alien Billy when the principal's talking to me. Actually, let me try this. Let's press the red button. Neutralizing, neutralizing contents of tank three. Switch it to tank one. And neutralize that. Neutralizing, neutralizing contents of tank one. And then let's press the blue. Releasing, releasing contents of all viable tanks. tanks. No? Oh no, Billy is still trapped in there. Ah, okay. So that didn't work. Let me try releasing him as an alien while the principal's in here. Let's see what happens. So let's press it again. Releasing contents of all viable tanks. Oh no, Billy is still trapped in there. Ah, damn it. Okay, so no matter what I do, no matter what scenario, I can't release Billy as an alien. I have to revert him back to human form, and then I can release him. But before I go, I was thinking about how I'm going to be able to stab bugs in the back. Maybe I have to do the voice recorder thing with Cindy, meet him inside the principal's office, and then when he goes back to class, then I can stab him in the back. So let me try that. If this doesn't work, then I don't know how we're going to get that damn Monstermon card. So there's bugs. He's just chilling over there, and then he's gonna come over here and say, I'll see you later. Yeah, I'll be seeing you at recess, pal. There you go. So we're gonna get that knife from the cubby, and we're gonna see how we're gonna do this. Oh, there he is. He's in a different spot now. Well, if it isn't my little friend from this morning, I was hoping I'd be seeing you around now. Why? Because I need to give you this. Aw, oh, crap. Come on, pull out the knife, kid. Pull out the knife. Come on. Bugs is kind of mad about this morning, you think? All right, guys, so that was everything I thought of of how to backstab Bugs. I have no idea how to do that. That one is complicated as shit. I also have to figure out how I'm going to explain to the principal that Billy and I were fighting, which results in me getting a Monster Mon card. I don't know how I'm going to do that either, but I'm going to figure it out in the next episode. If you guys are excited to see that or if you have any questions about this game, please leave them down in the comments below. But if you want the next episode to come out as soon as possible, make sure you give this video one big... Big fat like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!